Hi, I'm Arielle Blecher. Today we're going to learn past progressive for the ninth grade. Welcome. Can you talk and write about things happening in the past? Take a look at this picture on the screen. You can see that kids were playing in the park. That is something that was happening in the past. What were you doing when you heard the school was being canceled? I was watching TV with my family. We heard that there, were going to be, there was going to be a very big announcement. My kids were sitting at the edge of their seats. They were hoping that the prime minister was going to make a big announcement. At 8 o'clock p.m., 8.05 p.m., the announcement was made. School was being canceled. My kids were jumping for joy. There are many sentences in this paragraph that I just read that actually have past progressive idea, uh, past progressive grammar structure. If you look at the paragraph, was watching is talking about something that was an action happening in the past. Was going is also an action that was happening in the past. We're hoping another action that was in the past and was being, and we're jumping another examples. We use this tense, when, when do we use the past progressive? We use it to describe a long activity in the past. For example, I use the sentence, I was watching TV with my family. We also use it in two parallel activities in the past. For example, while I was watching TV, the kids were jumping for joy. There are two things happening in the sentence at the same time. I was watching TV, and my kids were jumping for joy at the same time. And we can also have another type of sentence that is in the past progressive tense. One action interrupted by another in the past. For example, I was watching TV when the announcement was made. That is an action that was happening in the past. So what is the form of past progressive? It seems like perhaps we need to learn the concept of the form of the sentence itself. It's pretty simple. First, you have the subject. The subject would be your pronoun, he, she, it, you, we, they. Then you have to add the be verb, the poel shall be. You need to add was or were to the sentence in order to make it in the past. And we add an action verb, okay? The poal plus ing. If you put this together, you have the actual structure of a past progressive sentence. What I'd love for you to do now is on the next screen, watch this video. This video is an example of something that was happening in the past. Let's watch it together. What was the man doing in this video? He was throwing a basketball over the dam, and it actually got into the basket. It was an action that was happening in the past, and we are watching it on the video right here as it happened in the past. The basketball was thrown by this man. He was throwing a basketball over the dam, and it went into the basket. How cool is that? It's not going past to the next slide. Sorry. Okay. Are there time expressions in these types of sentences? Yes, there are. The time expressions include while, ka'asher, during, b'meshech, and as, ka'asher. We use these in sentences to help make these sentences a little bit more interesting. Here are some examples with time expressions. Last night, mother was cook cooking supper while I was reading. Take a look at this sentence for a minute. We have the structure of past progressive right here. We have mother 
who is the subject. Was is the be verb. Cooking is the poel, the verb, plus ing. Supper is the meal she was serving. While kasher, I was reading. Kasher ani karati, as I was reading. The next sentence is a great example too. During the movie, people were laughing. During the meshech, okay, the movie, the movie, the seret that I was watching. People, that's the subject of the sentence. We're laughing. Were is the beaver laughing? Is hem tzachku tzachku sicha? Okay. The next sentence. I was playing outside as it began to rain. I is the subject. Was is the be verb. Playing is what I was doing at the time. The poel, the activity, outside. As kasher, it began to rain. It started to rain. There were droplets of rain falling while I was playing outside. These are three great examples of something that is in past progressive, using these time expressions to help us understand what is going on. There are also negative sentences. Negative shlili. Last night, mother was not cooking supper while I was reading. Okay, here we added the word "not." Did you see that in the sentence? Mother is the subject. Was not. This is the be verb. I added not to show what ma- mother was not doing at the time. I was reading, but she was not cooking supper. The next sentence is another great example. During the movie, people weren't laughing. Maybe the movie wasn't so funny, right? <laughs> okay. During the movie, while we were watching the movie, people were not laughing. They. They weren't laughing. It means that they were not. Were not is using the be verb, and then adding not to show that something was not happening at that time. Another example could be: I was not playing outside as it began to rain. I is the subject. Was not the be verb plus not playing outside as it began to rain. When it was raining, I was not playing outside. You should also know that you can shorten these words into words that we call contractions. I'm sure you guys have used these in the past, but just to jog your memory for a minute, you can shorten the word "was not" to "wasn't." Do you see how I wrote that? W a s n apostrophe t. That shortens the word, and that is totally fine grammatically. You can also do the same for "were not." W e r e n apostrophe t. That is the shortened version of that word. Let's think of some other examples before you take a break. Think of five actions you completed since you woke up this morning. I'll give you an example for my life. I was brushing my teeth while my sister was waking up. Do you see there are two actions happening at the same time? Maybe you could give me some other examples. I'll give you a couple. I was driving my car while I was listening to the radio. Okay, two actions happening at the same time. I was eating breakfast while my dog was barking. That's another example. You could think of so many other examples in your life. Of other past progressive moments, they happen all the time. It's something, an action that was happening in the past that you are aware of that you want to explain in the best way possible. Another example we can have: I was reading a book while the telephone was ringing. I was drinking a cup of coffee this morning. That's also a past progressive sentence. There's so many sentences you can think of as you try and think about things that happened in your past day, or maybe even a couple of hours ago. How about this morning when I was walking to school? I saw a bird on the street. 
It was chirping a pretty song. It was nice as I was listening to the bird making its pretty song while I was on my way to school. There are so many things you can describe in the past that you have experienced or that you have seen in the past. If you look at any picture in your home, you could describe that picture too. You could look through a photo album of your childhood in the past and say, hey, what was I doing at that moment? Was I celebrating my birthday? Was I having fun with my family at a park? Was I going to a special place that I enjoy? Do you hear all those sentences? All of those sentences are sentences that are past progressive, things that I was doing, she was doing, he was doing, you were doing, they were doing, we were doing. There's so many ways that you can use this in your daily speaking and in your daily writing skills. It's so important to know how to use this past progressive uh, grammar rule. And I hope that you'll enjoy trying to make these sentences at home while we take this break. Thank you. WH questions. What, what is a WH word? Do you guys remember? These words are words like who, what, when, where, and how. WH questions are usually used with the W word used in front of the sentence. We have plenty of examples. Let me share a few with you. Who was cooking supper? Who? Do you remember what that word means? Who? Me. Okay, do you remember who we said was cooking supper? Mother was cooking supper. Why weren't people laughing? Why? Why? Lama. We don't know why people weren't laughing at the movie. Perhaps they didn't think it was very funny. Not really sure. But that's the question is why? Another example would be, who was not playing outside? Do you remember the sentence we had before the break? I was not playing, I, I was playing outside, but maybe my friend Sally was not playing outside, okay? Terrific. These are really good question words. These help us ask questions in a format that is clear. There are also other types of question words. You guys know that there are also yes-no questions. Yes, no questions are questions that when we ask them, the answer is either yes or no. Okay, an example of these questions would be, was mother cooking dinner? Take a look at this sentence for a minute. There's a special format for these sentences. We take the helping verb, was or were, and put it at the beginning of the sentence. And then we follow it with the subject of the verb. Okay, so here again, look at the sentence again. Was mother cooking dinner? Was is my be verb. Mother is the subject. Cooking is my action verb. 
and dinner is the thing that she was doing, okay? And the answer would be, yes, mother was cooking dinner, or no, mother was not cooking dinner, depending on what happened. Another example is, were people laughing? Notice I put the word, the be verb, were, at the beginning of the sentence. Then I followed it by the subject, people. And then I followed it by the, the action verb, laughing. Now, this is in regards to the movie. Remember, we had this sentence that people were not laughing. So the answer to this question would be, no, people were not laughing at the movie. The third sentence is another great one. Was I playing outside in the rain? Was is the be verb. I is the subject. Playing is the action verb. And in the rain is what was going on at the time. Was I playing in the rain? I was playing in the rain. Yes, I was playing. Okay, terrific. These are great yes, no questions. And you can think of a lot of other yes, no questions in your life. Was I brushing my teeth this morning? Was I eating cereal for breakfast? Were they playing hockey in the courtyard? Many questions that we can create with this concept of yes, no questions in past progressive. Now I have a video. Do you see the video on the screen? I would love to share it with you. I would like you to click onto this video, pay really careful attention to what is happening, was happening in the video, okay? And try and think about it for a minute while you're watching. You can stop and start the video in order for you to understand as slow as you wish, but I think you will really enjoy it. Okay, what I'd like you to do now is take a couple of notes of what you saw in the video. And I would like you to take a break and we will come back as soon as the break is over. The break will be for 10 minutes. Thank you.
Hi everybody. Let's go back to the video that I left you, you with. I want to break it up into small chunks so we can go over sentences together in past progressive. Okay? Let's, I'm going to push play now. Okay? First, what was she telling us to do? She told us that we needed to soak the matzah. We were soaking the matzah in water. The next thing she told us to do is to add oil and we were adding the oil and the feta cheese and we were adding the egg together in the recipe in that bowl and we were mixing these ingredients together in a bowl. Let's see what was happening next. We were mixing the ingredients and then we were placing the ingredients on a small corner on the side of the wet matzah. Then we were folding the matzah together, making it look like a matzah bareka, right? The last step was brushing on top the egg wash. The egg wash will help it when it is baked in the oven, it will make it look crispy, right? And it makes it taste even more delicious. Let's look at the next things happening in the video. Here we go. You have to bake the one that you just finished. You were putting in the oven to bake at 350 degrees. That's about 180 degrees Celsius, okay? Next, let's have a look at the next type of bareka that she is creating. She was cutting the onion. It takes a while, but be patient. Sometimes onions can make us cry, right? Then she was chopping the onion into small, very small pieces. You have to make sure that you have a frying pan available because she wants you to take the oil and oil the pan, right? So she was oiling the pan and frying the onions for a bit. She was mixing the ingredients until the onions looked a little bit caramelized. Then she was adding the mashed potatoes and the egg and mixing it together in the frying pan, cooking it just a little bit together. The next step is again, we were creating the bareka. So we had to take the ingredients that we were just mixing and we were placing it on the corner of the matzah and folding it over. just like the bareka that was made the first time, the cheese bareka. Then we needed to place the bareka in the oven. We were baking it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 to 180 degrees Celsius. And look at the final product. I hope you will think about trying this recipe at home. In your own words, did you write those sentences down? Take a minute now to write the sentences that you think are most important about what was happening in that video. If you haven't done so already, take a few minutes. We just mentioned a few. Terrific. Maybe you and your family can try this recipe at home. Do you think you'll enjoy it? I think you will. Let's go over what the concept of past progressive is again, okay? It's, there are three types of past progressive sentences that we have in our form of past progressive. The first one, one long activity in the past. I have an example here from before. I was reading yesterday afternoon. Let's add a couple more now. I was baking last night with my mother. 
another long activity in the past, I was singing a song at home. Another long activity in the past, I was making a TikTok video, okay? Another long activity in the past, I was eating breakfast at my kitchen table, okay? Uh, two parallel activities in the past. Remember what this is, two things that were happening at the same time. An example, I was while I was reading, Susan was studying for a test. While I was eating breakfast, my dog was sleeping on the couch. While Susan was studying for her test, I was reading my favorite book. While my friend was filming my TikTok video, I was dancing up a storm. Okay, do you hear those two things happening at the same time in the past? Terrific. Another idea we have here, oh, sorry, another rule, <laughs> is one action interrupted by another. Sometimes we have one thing happening and something is interrupting it. An example I gave earlier was, I was reading when the telephone rang. Susan was playing trumpet while I was trying to read a book, okay? One in action interrupted by another. Let's give another example. I was eating my breakfast when the doorbell rang. Another example. I was on my, I was, sorry, I was listening to my radio when the car stopped, okay? Again, two things happening at the same time. There are also rules for questions. Do you remember? We have yes, no questions. Okay, where we put the helping verb before the subject. What was Susan doing? Sorry, I used the wrong question. Let's go back. We want a yes, no question. Was Susan reading a book? Yes, she was. Was mom cooking dinner? Yes, she was. Was I creating a TikTok video? Yes, I was. Was I reading a book? Yes, I was. Was she eating breakfast? Yes, she was. You can also say, no, she wasn't eating breakfast. Was my dog sleeping on the couch? Yes, she was, or no, she wasn't. These are all yes, no questions. We use these every day when we're thinking about things that we did in the past and whether, yes, we did them or no, we didn't do them. We also have the WH questions. Do you guys remember those? The WH questions? Oops. Um, the WH questions are the questions with who, what, when, why, and where, and how, okay? Those questions are really important to remember too. What was mom doing? What was I doing last night? Who was baking the matzah barekas. Were you baking the, maca, well, the matzah barekas? Okay, now I combined the two types of questions there. I said, who was baking the matzah barekas? And I said, were you baking the matzah barekas? Yes, I was baking the matzah barekas. No, I wasn't baking the matzah barekas. Let's think of another WH question. How were you uh, baking the matzo barekas? How? Okay, then you have to answer the question. When was I baking the matzo barekas? Was it at eight o'clock at night? Was it at 10 o'clock in the morning? Was it at nine o'clock p.m.? Okay, these are questions that we can combine together, the WH questions and the yes, no questions together. We can create a whole uh, bunch of questions in order to ask somebody what they were doing, when they were doing it, how they were doing it, why they were doing it, and ask, were they doing it or were they not doing it? Was he doing it? Was the dog baking the barekas? 
No, the dog was not baking the barekas. The dog was sleeping on the couch. Remember? Okay, these are all easy ways to create a whole picture of what was happening at that time. Take a minute now to look outside your window. Look outside at what is going on in the street. Okay? Okay? What were people doing a minute ago? Were they walking the dog? Were they sitting on a park bench? Were they looking back at your window? Were they going shopping? Who was outside walking the dog? Where was that person going? Why were they walking the dog? How do they know where to go? Okay, how were they going? What were they doing? These are all concepts of what exactly was happening at that active moment at that time. You can say this about something you were watching on TV too, okay? What was I watching? Was I watching Netflix? Who were the characters in the show? Were they talking to each other? Were they dancing? Were they singing? Were they making me laugh? Was it funny? Why, why were they laughing? Or why were they not laughing at the joke that the character made in the TV show? You hear that I have just created a whole picture of what was happening at that moment. If you're home, you could go walk into your kitchen and see what is, was happening two minutes ago in your kitchen. Was mom making coffee? Were the eggs being cooked by your father? Were you baking something that started to burn? Okay, again, I created a moment that you can look back at the past, at the actions that were happening at that moment. These are actions that happen all the time. We just have to use the pattern that we have learned today in order to make these sentences sound grammatically correct. And they're really fun to use because they actually make us think of the activity that was happening at that moment, at that time. And it only happened at that time. You can't go back in the past. You can create a picture, though, with words to describe what happened. And that is what gives our sentences flavor. When you look or read a book, you also see sentences like this, where people are describing a moment and it clicks for you, you get it, you realize you are in that moment. You are actually thinking about what happened in the book at that time. It transforms you into a place of that you can actually see the picture in your mind of what was happening at that moment at, in the time of the book. And you can sing, say this and describe any moment in your past the same exact way. These are really fun ways to look at something that happened in the past and to realize that you actually have the power to create these moments using your English vocabulary and your words and your grammar structure. It's so fun, and if you think about it, there's a lot of things that you did just two minutes ago that you can describe. There's a Quizlet here for you to test yourself on the terms of past progressive. I want you to take out your telephone now and use your QR code reader to take a photo of the QR code in order to test yourself on the concepts of past progressive and the terms. If you do this now, you can then do the Quizlet quiz, the flashcards, and the test. And this is a great way to remind yourself of what is the format of past progressive and how we use it. Take a moment to do this right now. I'm waiting for you.
Hi, everybody. Okay. So going back to, you did the Quizlet. Terrific. Remember the concepts? Okay, great. I just went back to the screen of the matzah, baking the matzah barakas, because I wanted to say how that's a perfect example of a past progressive moment is when you were cooking something or baking something. Okay, think about perhaps this recipe or another recipe that you have made uh, with your family or by yourself, where you can describe every moment of what you were doing. Think about, for example, a time when you were making pasta for lunch. What were you doing? You were taking the pot out of the cupboard. You were pouring the water into the pot. You were boiling the water to prepare the pot of water for your pasta. You, you were opening the bag of pasta. You were breaking the pasta. You then put the pasta in the pot and you were letting it boil. The pasta was boiling for maybe 10 minutes, right? Okay, after the pasta had boiled, you then took the pasta out and you were pouring it into the colander to get rid of all the water and so you could be preparing it for your family to give them for lunch for a meal. That's a perfect way to describe a moment in time that was happening in the past. It was active and it was something you were doing. You did this action. You were making that bowl of pasta and I bet it was yummy. I hope that this was helpful for you. I know that there are so many times in your life that you can go over the past progressive concepts Remember, subject plus was, were, plus poal, the act, action verb, plus ing, and you've got it. I believe in you, and I know that you will be making some great past progressive sentences in the future. Take care now.